Hi, this is Matt here in Niseko, Japan, reporting for Ski TV. The popularity of Niseko has grown massively in the last 20 years. A lot of that down to the Australians. But the story of how skiing came here to Niseko goes back a lot further. Today you're going to learn about how skiing here in Niseko and Japan in general has very strong Austrian roots. In the nearby town of Kachan, beside its main road and snow-covered paths, lies a statue to this man, Lieutenant Colonel Theodor von Lurch Adora. A member of the Austro-Hungarian army, he was asked to train the Japanese army and so visited Kuchan in 1912. With the reputation of being a very good skier, he became the first man to climb and ski Mount Yote. This was heavily reported at that time. Not only is he the first recorded skier in Niseko, but Idora is credited as one of the first people of bringing skiing to Japan in the 20th century. The ski industry and its popularity grew through the century, and in 1961, the first lifts were built on what is now known as Niseko Hirafu, which is the mountain here behind me. A year later, in 1962, the All Japan Ski Championships were held here in Niseko. But Niseko's European skiing influence does not end there. In 1927, Japan competed for the first time in the Winter Olympics, held in St. Moritz in Switzerland. Soon after, the Emperor's Prince visited Hokkaido and also visited the nearby town of Kuchan. This was heavily publicised by the local papers, dubbing the town the St. Moritz of the East. In 1964, the mayor of Kuchan visited the Swiss mayor, who accepted an offer of mutual friendship. St. Moritz and Kuchan have been sister cities ever since. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more exciting winter sports content, you can subscribe to Ski TV. Membership prices are below and this includes the altitude card, a donation to a ski charity, access to all content, invitations to events and much, much more. I've been Matt Bramwell for Ski TV and I'll see you next time.